In this video, I'm going to explain the uh, basic operations of stack. So there are three basic operations that we can perform on stack data structure. First one is push operation, second one is pop operation, and third one is peak operation. Okay. So push operation is used to place the item into the stack. Okay. So let's see what is the push operation. Initially, this stack is empty. Yes or no? Suppose I want to insert an item into the stack. It is known as push operation. You can see the item 10 is inserted into the stack. And the top is a pointer which is always pointing to the top of the stack. Okay. Suppose I want to insert a new item like 20. Now this 20 is pushed inside the stack. Right now the top is pointing to 20. Always remember, top is pointing to the top element of the stack. Okay. So next, coming to 30. Suppose I am inserting 30. Then, 30 is pushed on the top of the stack. You can see these are the current elements of the stack. Top is pointing to the top element of the stack. Okay. Now, if you want to insert a few more elements like 400. Okay and uh, 500 you can see like this this is how push operation is going to work it is just placing the item inside the stack which is nothing but insertion operation so now next one is pop operation pop operation is deletion operation and it is going to remove the top element of the stack okay so click on pop you can see top element is getting removed from the stack so one more click top element is removed so currently top element is 30 and you can see clicking pop you can see 30 is removed from the stack one more pop operation 20 is removed one more pop operation 10 is removed and right now the stack is completely empty okay so at this point if you are trying to perform another pop operation it is going to produce an error saying a stack is empty okay so let's have a small stack push push another element 20 push 30 into the stack push 40 into the stack like this so currently the stack contains four elements on the top of the stack is 40 okay so we'll discuss about the third operation uh, that is peak operation peak operation is always returning the top element of the stack okay so this is a current stack and what is the top element of the stack 40 is the top element of the stack so clicking peak this is going to give you the top element of the stack what is top element of the stack 40 so that will be returned okay suppose if you perform one pop operation this is the corresponding stack top of the stack will be 30 right now now if you want peak operation to be performed this is going to return the top element of the stack which is 30 like this now perform one more pop operation 30 is removed from the stack and the top of the element is uh, 20 now calling peak operation will return 20 okay now perform one more pop operation only stack contains one element that is 10 so this itself is the top element of the stack so calling peak operation will return 10 now perform one more pop operation right now the stack is completely empty now at this point if you call peak operation this is going to return stack empty message 